Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I am a two-month-old vegan. Originally, I was posting updates every week, and I thought maybe I should space them out a bit more. So, possibly, there's an opportunity to do a monthly vegan update if uh, things have changed over the course of every month. Uh, I can tell you I've got a few notes off to the side. I've had a variety of experiences, but let me go ahead and uh, begin with uh, the impetus for uh, taking this path, uh, this personal choice uh, of, of effectively adopting a whole food plant-based diet. Uh, I did it primarily, you might remember, uh, specifically in relation to my own personal health, uh, not just uh, weight or fat, extraneous fat, whether we're talking about subcutaneous fat or uh, you know any other fat that isn't as uh, subcutaneous, that is the fat that's in between all the organs, which is very dangerous, um, but specifically blood work. I've had issues with cholesterol, uh, and uh, this is something that I didn't think was ever going to go away. I thought I would eventually have to turn to medication. I have not uh, received a blood test in the interim. Uh, that I'm hoping uh, to be able to do, hoping. I'm hoping to get, you know, a blood test. I can't believe I'm hoping for that uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, but the weight update uh, is uh, possibly most exciting for me to, to give you, although I will tell you, I have forgotten where I started. I didn't actually like write it down or jot it down in some app. Um, I believe I began at 158 uh, two months ago, uh, and I uh, weighed in today at 137. So I've lost 20 pounds over the course of two months. I have been eating. Uh, I'm not in starvation mode, to my knowledge. I could probably stand to eat a, a bit more, uh, but I am, uh, you know, filled with as many nutrients as I can possibly uh, pack in. So, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I've lost 20 pounds. To me, that's amazing. That's outstanding. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, it could very well be due to a calorie deficit uh, from where I was before, uh, but uh, the hope is, again, to be able to maintain that, uh, you know, shouldn't be uh, too difficult to do now that I've kind of worked it into uh, daily uh, patterns and habits, uh, knowing full well that I uh, am satiated a, a, a lot longer uh, for uh, uh, having chosen these higher fiber foods. I'm not hungry, uh, and if I am hungry, I, I generally eat. Uh, I'm largely eating fruits in, in between meals, um, and uh, if I'm, I'm not eating the fruits, I'm eating the meals. So, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I believe, in, in doing research and looking at BMI, specifically with uh, my uh, uh, sex, with my um, uh, height, with my age, I may end up, uh, after having eliminated most of the extraneous fat uh, from my body, I may end up hovering uh, somewhere in the 120s and still be considered healthy, not underweight and certainly not overweight. I think I've passed that barrier of being uh, overweight as a five foot five, five foot, uh, foot six uh, male. Um, I know I've seen changes like in terms of how clothes fit, which I'm thrilled about. But even uh, our daughter, Jedi, uh, today we were eating an orange. We were eating little those little cuties. We got a whole huge bag of them for a buck. We get fruits and veggies uh, when they're on manager special because we're going to eat them immediately. And instead of spending $4 on a bag, we'll spend a dollar on a bag and enjoy them just as much. Uh, it's kind of funny. It costs more to not be a vegan. <laughs> if, you, if you look at it, honestly, it, it costs way more to not be a vegan. Um, th these things are very affordable. And I know some people say, well, you're lucky to be in that area. I'm like, these are popular chain grocery stores. You just got to know how to shop. Uh, you don't take the convenient path. It, take a path that's better for your health. Uh, she pointed out, back to this story, um, my, uh, my neck, which I noticed the other day when I was doing one of the Star Wars videos on Star Wars Radar, um, that's another change that happened, but it has nothing to do with uh, being a vegan. Although, I, I, I might ask, are Jedi vegan like, you know, the Jedi, you know, they don't harm other living beings if they can help it. Um, but she had noticed, like, we were eating the orange. She said, what's that? What's that? I'm like, it's my neck. No, 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 what's that? And she's pointing specifically at uh, one of my muscles. As I'm, I must have been, like, as I was talking or, or moving around, uh, the muscles in my neck, I don't think she's ever seen them or has not recognized them in, until now. Uh, the last time I was at this weight was, let's see here, probably around December last year, 
um, I was I, I measured in, in an app. I measured at 134 in February 2016. Uh, so uh, I know that I, I definitely have a, a few more uh, fat pounds to go. Uh, I, I expect to get there eventually. But she she noticed that uh, that change. It was kind of funny. I'm like, oh, it's muscles. We all have muscles in our neck. It's just that I didn't really have a chance to explain why well, I'm not eating, you know, the same kind of foods anymore and I'm eating better. And, and, and so my fat is kind of disappearing. God willing, she'll never have to worry about the things that I worried about throughout childhood, um, uh, throughout adulthood. And that would be, uh, weight management. Uh, it's, it's a hell of a lot easier to, to manage something when you don't have to manage it. And, and that's exactly what a, a whole food, uh, plant-based diet can provide, whether you choose to call that vegan or not. Um, it's, it's true. I just don't think about it anymore. I just know. Um, I know what my go-to is. Uh, I, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm, I'm exceedingly happy. Um, I, I'm on a good trajectory. I know I could be doing better um, in, in terms of uh, uh, making sure I'm meeting my caloric goals. Uh, there are some days that I know I don't meet those caloric goals. But um, it, it's, it's down to, uh, quite simply, a, a routine. I, I will mention that uh, you know we, we have sought medical opinions and advice and no one said don't do it in fact if you talk to a doctor and they don't say yeah eat more fruits and vegetables kind of got to wonder um the uh, uh the concern may have been for our daughter in terms of the nutrition she's getting well she usually eats what we eat she usually eats what i have like i you know diana will make potatoes and she wants them uh, or she'll make the salad and she wants it for 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 a brief while um but uh, the uh, uh, the concern was, w would she get enough vitamins and minerals and, uh, you know, o omega-3s? And so uh, we effectively, the, the best we could do to make sure she was getting her vitamin, instead of using like a multivitamin, uh, we're uh, giving her, it sounds really odd, total cereal was the best option that we found to make sure that she was getting her vitamin B, uh, specifically B12 for the day. Yes, we still do sprinkle nooch on, on things, um, and, and I, I, if I do it, it's, it's very prolific, um, and, and I, I know Diana's uh, done a very good job at integrating it uh, within the meals to the point where I, I can't even taste it anymore. Um, outright, uh, I'm just I'm, I'm accustomed to it. Uh, but uh, to make sure she's getting her B12 as well as her other vitamins that, that she may miss if she doesn't get a fruit like a vitamin C or vitamin A, or she doesn't eat salad to get you know those vitamins. Uh, total cereal. Uh, I'm not thrilled with that as an option, but I feel better uh, having her eat that be because of uh, the uh, the vitamin B12 uh, content of the cereal. We may look at, you know, finding, uh, you know, another option like a multivitamin uh, to make sure she's getting a B12. But any kind of fortification in, in a food is, is just fine. And, and, and they, they do put sugar and, 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 and corn syrup on the total flakes. I'm not happy about that. But again, anything that could encourage her to eat that is kind of a, a light treat. Or if Diana crushes it up and puts it in something, we know that she's getting her vitamins and minerals. And then as far as her omega-3s are concerned... Uh, walnuts. Uh, you know, we pick up a, a huge bag of walnuts for like seven bucks at a local uh, store uh, that that gets them uh, usually organic. Uh, but it, it, the best value for for the best bang for your buck. But uh, we'll get a bag of walnuts, and I'll take two in each one of the salads. If I eat, you know, um, a, a salad for lunch, then I put two uh, walnuts in there, if only because uh, you know for the fat soluble vitamins. Uh, Jedi likes the walnuts as well so we make sure she gets some uh but they they do recommend and this isn't specifically in the realm of veganism but specifically for nutrition uh, that you you have maybe about 20 walnuts a week if you're looking for you know the right kind of fat in terms of limitations or, or, or a goal so i I'm, i kind of balance it out and like all right two two walnuts per salad i'm good to go um as long as i'm getting that I, i'm uh, i'm good so that's how i'm getting my omega-3s walnuts that's how jedi is getting her omega-3s walnuts and, and diana as well uh a headache update because this was really something that was uh, a problem for the first month uh, they've gone away um it was largely due to uh, strain like uh, it was a muscle that was causing issues with my uh my uh, uh my head all over the place it was a tension headache um but when i went to a massage therapist i don't think i'm going back but he was really <sighs> awkward right i go in there i explain what's going on and he tries to give me the line you know you need animal protein to survive and i'm like uh, I did not want to get into it because, A, you don't. 
and B, if you look behind, if, if I look behind him, I mean, a nice guy and everything. Um, there, uh, there was an array of like lotions and potions and you know magical pills and everything. I'm like, is this the kind of guy I want to be taking nutritional advice from? No, I came to him as a massage therapist, uh, and so uh, and and quite honestly, I don't know if he did as well as I was hoping he was going to do with the massage thing, but uh, he was telling me as I was explaining that. I didn't know if it was related to a dietary change or, or just tension outright, uh, that he discovered he was lactose intolerant. But he still drinks a glass of milk every day. I'm like, why? You're, you're not an infant. You know, you're not a cow. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, I just see so many myths being propagated because of cultural reinforcement. And honestly, I just... I, I can't fight those battles because, like, if you want to believe an alternative fact, go for it. Just because more people believe it to be true doesn't make it true. Uh, it just means that more people happen to believe a delusion. Um, the uh, 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 So anyway, that, that my headaches have, have gone away. I'm happy. I have uh, – I, I tried something, and, and I, I feel like – it's 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 been a good change, and this has been something for the past few weeks. Uh, something called intermittent fasting, which has been recommended uh, specifically for a lot of different reasons. Um, you know, I mean, still making sure I'm getting as many calories as I can pack in, but basically doing the uh, uh, what they call the sixteen eight method, where I will eat for eight hours and then not eat for sixteen hours. So effectively, from noon to eight p.m. That's when I eat, but then I go to bed, wake up in the morning, do my thing, drink some tea, drink some water, but I don't eat until noon. Uh, this gives my body a chance to effectively uh, burn the fat that I might have, um, the, uh, uh, but, but also um, you know, uh, uh, kind of give my tummy a rest. And so uh, I, I found that it's worked. I haven't been overly hungry in the morning. I'm kind of used to it, um, but again, as soon as noon hits, I'm like, Eat, 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 eat. I'm not like gorging myself or anything, but I, but I definitely eat uh, enough to know that I'm not full. I am I'm satisfied with with what it is that I'm eating. But intermittent fasting is something that people have done uh, as long as they're getting their nutrition. You can't just like fast, right? You've got to you've got to eat. In fact, for for people who aren't vegan, if if they try intermittent fasting, it is suggested that you tr you are on like a whole food plant-based diet for like weeks prior to doing intermittent fasting, which I was doing anyway. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll, I'll just give it a shot. I'll see, I'll see how this goes. Uh, but I've, I found that it, it works out uh, quite well. Um, so that's, I, I have been doing that for the past few weeks, whether or not I continue to do it. I don't know. Uh, as long as I'm able to, uh, again, uh, eat as much as I need to eat, then, then I should be good to go. Um, the, uh, uh, uh oh, uh, the, the other thing I wanted to mention, and I've got these broken down into bullet points, um, just because you're going vegan doesn't mean you're going healthy. And this is something that I believe I have stated before, but I, I just want to I want to say it again for the record. Um, most vegan foods are foods that aren't things that are on our plate. Like, I, I really feel strongly about this now, two months in, taking the path of a whole food plant-based diet or a lifestyle – is a far better choice. And even um, there's there's a, a, an image that has gone viral in relation to um, the hurricanes that are you know passing through in, in the United States right now. Um, and I say hurricanes because the, the second one's about to hit. Uh, there's a, a, a shelf space in an area of a grocery store where it's vegan food. And it's, this is in Texas. It is like packed, like no one wants the stuff. And I'm not saying that it's bad. Actually, some of the stuff I've had and it's, pretty good but those those products are no worse than the other products that you might have eaten or you might be eating now if you're if you're not a vegan um you're just you're trading one junk food for another and that that is you know just as much on my mind as anything you know i uh i really feel strongly about that this is this is something that you know i feel is a, a critical choice that you could make if you ever decided to go down the path of of being a vegan, uh, just because you're vegan doesn't mean you're healthy. I, I, I think that's, that's an important note to make. And I still feel very strongly about that. Um, we, we, as I mentioned before, get tons of manager specials. Sometimes Diana will take a picture of a haul. Like we got a huge bag of tomatoes for like a buck. I'm like, cause they're ready to go. And I'm like, we'll eat them, dude. 
tomatoes in the salad. You know, Diana loves tomatoes. I, I eat tomatoes. Jedi loves tomatoes. Um, we, we get them at a, a discount. So, uh, I, I, it has not been a more expensive lifestyle choice. Uh, let me tell you, um, uh, not having to buy the things that we used to buy has saved us a lot of money. Uh, I do have to say something that you may, um, disgust you, but it's a human thing. Uh, my bowel movements, and I'm going to make this as quick as I can. Uh, this is really strange to me, but they've been less messy. <laughs> Not that I was intending on waxing scatological with everybody, but uh, it's typically one wipe and I'm done. They're not messy. This is something that is a radical change far back as I can remember. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, kind of nice. Uh, so we're saving money on toilet paper. I'm just saying. Like, you know, you don't need a lot. I, I, not anymore. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, you just start saving money when you start doing things the right way. And that, to me, is telling my body, telling me that is telling me that what I'm doing is right for my body, or even more right than I, 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 I have uh, come to understand uh, through uh, science uh, in, in peer-reviewed uh, studies. And whether we're talking about uh, meta-analysis uh, or, you know, individual studies that, you know, have been uh, looked at and reviewed over time, or, you know, the debunking of, of, of uh, su uh, suggested updates to science uh, that, is, is very firmly planted in the uh, uh, the hands of uh, drug companies or companies that uh, have it in their best interest to keep you sick. Um, I, I tend to look at those types of studies with uh, like this kind of eye. This, this is my emoji eye, like, I don't know. The uh, raised eyebrow. Uh, I will tell you that I have had issues with constipation. My brother actually has um, uh, 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 IBS, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome. I... I feel I may as well or may have, um, I, I can still, you know, f find myself kind of, and it's not that it's been from a lack of fiber and it could be my digestive system resetting itself. I still feel that I, I have a ways to go, uh, with that in the sense of making sure I'm getting enough and making sure I'm eating what I need and that my body's able to digest it properly or well enough. But, um, constipation has been less of a problem than it has been in the past. Mind you, with when I'm talking about my body resetting, you got to remember I was drinking coffee, which is an accelerant, which certainly helped in that department. Um, but now that I'm not drinking coffee, you know, I, I was missing that component to my routine. Uh, but it's been less of a problem specifically because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying different food combinations and, and, and seeing what how I react to different ones. Um, the, uh, the interesting thing is, I had mentioned this in an earlier update, I have something, or had, something called OAS, or Oral Allergy Syndrome, which is something that would uh, impact me when I eat something that may have had pollen deposited on it uh, as it was effectively growing. And it would happen when I eat, when I would eat nuts, when I'd eat uh, uh, you know a banana, when I would eat um, uh, uh, avocado, uh, when I'd eat uh, you know any one of these any one of these types of products. And the jicama was the the worst reaction I ever had. But this is the weird thing. Uh, just on a lark, I uh, I decided I'm like, well let me let me just try a banana because I was hungry and I was like this is all I could eat. And I didn't have a reaction, or if I did, it was very, very uh, muted by a comparison to prior reactions. It's just like a tingling in, in the throat and in the ears and the, you know, kind of itchiness, but but never anything severe. Uh, I can tell you right now, I, uh, I'm i now eating, this has been going on for a couple weeks. Today I had five bananas. I got them for like, you know, a buck. Um, but I had five bananas. And... I did. I, I just. I'm not reacting to bananas anymore, and it's not that I think it, it's bananas from a certain region because I've picked up bananas from a variety of stores and locations uh, and have not had a reaction. I uh, I'm eating walnuts and in not having as much of a reaction as I had in the past. I'm not having any reaction to the walnuts. I'm not having uh, reactions to any of the food products that I've tried where I wherein I've had reactions before and uh, including. Ch including cherries, which I took when I was feeling like I was getting a headache. No reactions, and cherries have given me a reaction before. So I'm not going to say I'm cured of my OAS, but I can tell you that 
I I just don't feel it, which is surprising, but uh, it's diminished or possibly gone. So it, it, it may have been the, the, that my immune system in being impacted by meat or dairy or any kind of animal products was uh, effectively um, keeping my body from being able to process the pollen, which is most likely still in these fruits and, and, and nuts. But now my body can handle it. So if anything, again, this is telling me that going with a whole food plant-based diet is is the right thing to do. Like, I, this is not something like, well, what if you go back? I'm like, why would I go back? Why would I go back to, uh, you know, these weight issues? Why would I go back to, uh, you know, uh, constipation? Why would I go back to the threat of having to take medication? Why would I go back to having OAS when I eat something that should be okay for me? So this is, it's just, it's, it's another mark in the column of, dude, you're like, you're the best, quote I've heard is this is a recent one so I'm paraphrasing um the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago the next best time is today so you can either you know stall that uh, you know inevitable uh, you know decision or or you can just do it or you can try it this is all it was in the beginning I'm I'm just going to try it and we see what happens but like I've seen a lot of things come out of it um you know over time a, a year or so from now or now 10 months from now uh I I will have known whether or not the weight thing was real like if it was easy you know to eat, you know my my weight didn't come back I don't think it will because it's not that I'm taking in all these you know, massive amounts of calories um, the, the, but I, 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 I know this is a choice for a lifetime. I know this is the, this, this was absolutely the right choice for me to make. Um, in, in terms of when I go out in, in, into, uh, 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 you know, society, that sounds so, so weird when I'm out and about and I'm feeling a, a bit peckish, uh, you know, I will look for a, a fruit option, uh, an orange or, a, like an, an overpriced orange or an overpriced banana or an apple or, uh, uh, something that I can grab. But fruit tends to, to, to be, uh, my go-to option if I'm in public and, uh, I need to grab a, a quick bite. The riper, the better. That's something. Like if you eat bananas when they're not ripe enough, they may not digest as easily. They may may not benefit you as much uh, as as they are, they are when they are uh, fully ripe. Uh, but um, you know, I'll I'll, uh, I'll look for fruit in public if I'm feeling like I'm hungry. And typically, there's a grocery store around, or I can find uh, something. For the most part, there are exceptions to the rule. Uh, but I'll 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 have uh, uh, green tea you know, throughout the day or certainly in the morning, uh, hibiscus at times, although I'm not drinking that as, as frequently as, as the green tea right now for one reason or another. It's been a, a, a busy month for us. Um, lunch and dinner, we'll often have this big salad, beans or quinoa or beans and quinoa, mushrooms every day. Um, you know, we get these big containers for like 99 cents each, just a plain old white mushrooms. Um, it's, it's a, a veritable cornucopia, uh, every single day in terms of nutrition and, and flavor, um, and, uh, and, and an impact. In fact, um, Diana's taken to uh, using lime juice on the salad, which, uh, I've enjoyed, uh, but the, uh, uh um, uh, it, they're also more affordable. They're in season at this point, but I like it more than the balsamic vinegar, which we tried. We got some balsamic vinegar, uh, vinegar, which did not have any artificial coloring. Uh, no, um, no, what's the nitrate, nitrate, nitrites, no additional nitrites, nitrates, nothing additional, but it was a little pricey and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the vinegar. I enjoyed the flavor for the salad, but I like the lime a lot more. In fact, we even uh, sprayed some lime on some of our mushroom popcorn and I like it. I said, Diana, I need the, I need this. I need the, the lime, uh, you know, juice on the, uh, on the mushroom popcorn. And you might remember if I told you, uh, mushroom popcorn is, uh, it has nothing to do with mushrooms itself, but it's how the, the kernel pops like a very puffy, uh, pop versus the, the butterfly popcorn, which you're probably accustomed to. Mushroom popcorn for the win. That's just what they call it. It's a horrible brand because it's not even a brand, but it's a horrible label because people who don't like mushrooms go, I don't want mushrooms in my popcorn. Actually, popcorn and mushrooms might go well together. But lime juice on the popcorn was awesome. Lime juice, uh, lime uh, dress uh, for my dressing in, in the salad is amazing. Um, as I mentioned, balsamic vinegar has worked, although I don't think we're going to get any more of that. Um, uh, been eating curry powder, and I don't know if I had mentioned this before, but to get turmeric with black pepper and all the other anti-inflammatory spices, curry's been the best. 
Um, I've also had cayenne pepper, uh, you know, like for brown fat activation. Not as much anymore, but the Diana, when she prepares the uh, the mushrooms, uh, they're very spicy because she puts the cayenne pepper in, in those and the curry in there. So I'm getting uh, cayenne pepper, uh, which, again, can help activate your brown fat. It, it did not go away after birth. It's still there, right right in this general area, if you weren't aware. Everybody's got it up there. Um Sometimes uh, uh, the uh, and the reason why cayenne pepper, by the way, it, or if or peppers like hot peppers is for the capsaicin. That's what activates the the brown fat to help uh, you know eff effectively help you burn fat to 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 to, to process uh, everything. Uh, but that's you know that, that's that's by and large what I had written down. Everything's becoming routine, so there are really no new discoveries apart from what I might see in social. I've taken to sharing quite a few things on Facebook. Um, you know, I, I, I understand I will upset people, but I, I take the position of, look, I understand you care about this animal, but if you're going to care about this animal, you should care about this one as much. Uh, there was news, uh, that, um, in Canada, there are pro uh, proposed, uh, changes to their food guide, uh, effectively, um, upsetting beef producers because they're diminishing the beef role in terms of nutrition, which uh, as well, they should not only is it great for the animals, but it's better for you. Outright. That's what the science says. You can debate that. Debate the science. Don't debate me. Debate the science. Um, that was uh, some interesting bit of news. And another bit of news, uh, hopefully within the next few years, the, uh, uh, the, the chicken industry, uh, the poultry industry is going to uh, take to uh, f discovering whether or not uh, the sex of a, a, a chicken is male or female. At uh, basically at uh, at in inception, at, you know when when they know, so they'll they'll have the technology, and this is like a couple years away or so to be able to discard a, a male egg instead of letting it you know survive to birth and then killing it. I mean, I couldn't even tell you millions of chicks, male chicks are just discarded. They're that's a, the wrong word to use. Slaughtered, killed, uh, inhumanely. It, like there's no humane death. Like you're born a male, you're dead. That that's that's the that that's the death sentence for 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 a chick, um, you know, it's because it's not going to it's not going to, to 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 create eggs, you know, like a hen will, right? You know, you know, female chicken. So that will save chickens' lives. Still doesn't fix the fact that eggs are generally not good for you. Uh, there there's there's a lot. The the best video I found on that um, is from do, uh, Doctor uh, 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 Doctor Gregor. Um, he had had one that basically showed just how many lies are, are propagated uh, from uh, the egg council. Um, and it, you cannot call an egg healthy. They legally cannot call an egg healthy because it's not. Uh, I think it was the egg council. Um, it's been that's been about two months since I've watched that video. Um, but uh, there, 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 there was a, a photo that that I saw shared that you know said, and I think this is this is. Not awkward, but it really, it's starting to bug me more than I think it bugged me in the beginning. Not that I, I'm, I'm like, my activist bone is like is starting to get triggered. But, you know, I, I will see people who genuinely care about an animal and its plight. Because they know that, they, they see the animal's plight and they, oh, you know, the poor elephant or poor dog. But, you know, they're making choices for themselves that are bringing more harm to not just themselves, but to other animals. So, like, I understand you caring about animals, but if you're going to do it, do it. Like, you can't just care about one animal and not another. You can't. If your life doesn't depend on it, and by and large today, your life does not, by science, and that's dick, that, that is flat fact, does not need an animal product to survive. It just does not. In fact, you can find yourself in a better position if you just... Take yourself off of uh, animal products. So beyond the health aspects of it, it, it's just the humane aspects of it. Like they, they were, there was someone who tagged me on uh, Twitter saying, hey, I'm going to donate you know, $500 to you know, help these animals in, 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 the, in the flood. I'm like, well, I'm saving. That's great that you're, you're helping them. Like, I'm saving animals every day too. I just I don't eat them, nor do I want to support that. That, that part of the industry that would slaughter those animals for my benefit when I have no, when there is no benefit to me and there's absolutely no benefit to the animal. I do not want to be party to an undue death. And by and large, every animal death, you know, at human hands 
and this is specifically through the lens of understanding the science behind a whole food plant-based diet, it's unnecessary. So, you know, I, I, I have a... I have I, I have to work on my approach because I'll see someone, you know, like kind of pull me in, and, and try to you know get me to you know uh, feel for for one particular animal like a dog or an elephant. I'm using that as an example, but I'm like, dude, like you can't care about this animal and then not care about the cow that was slaughtered so you could eat the burger that you had for lunch. You you can't. That that is that is such an amazing level of cognitive dissonance. I can't even. Like, I can't process that. And it's not that... I I, I, I... I could do it before because I didn't know better. I was ignorant. And, you know, that wasn't even a willful, willful ignorance. It was just being so overwhelmed by misinformation, not knowing what's right, what's true, um, and, and, and believing that I needed animal products to survive, right? Well, what are you going to eat? If you don't eat eggs, how are you going to get your protein? Well, you don't need protein. Protein and too much protein can actually, actually accelerate your cancer growth. Like I mean, it's like, oh, I had no idea. Now I'm learning. Now I'm seeing. Now I understand. Now I'm listening. So it's, 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 not, it's not ignorance. It's potential willful ignorance. If you can see it for what it is without having to mentally disconnect you know that that part of you that allows you to eat an animal that if you knew it on a personal level you wouldn't necessarily i don't i, I can imagine not eat right you wouldn't eat your dog you wouldn't eat your cat you wouldn't eat your hamster maybe you do maybe you come from a part of the world that that has no problem eating pets but to me the uh, the dogs that 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 we have uh, are are no different from uh, from cows that are Ra literally raised to, to die um pigs chickens you name the animal that that that, that has to suffer uh, you know f for us and I, i'm i'm done with it it's not for me uh, it's it's not for any vegan really but you know i i see a lot of it um and, and unfortunately a lot of cognitive dissonance someone tried to uh they tried to be funny and it just didn't turn out very well for them they said well you know they, they they made they they made this weird point, and I understood what they were trying to say, suggesting that carnivores would never eat dirt because they 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 get their nutrition from animals. I'm like, where do you think the animals get their nutrition from, dude? Go straight to the source. Seriously, why why cut out the middle cow? I mean, literally save a life. So I understand saving animals. You know these one off horrific, um, you know natural disasters, but look at a deeper impact. I mean, not just your carbon footprint and lowering that by a dramatic level, because you may be considering that and a whole food plant-based diet will help you accomplish that way greater than changing a car preference. Uh, but you know, if you're going to take the time to donate to an animal cause or an animal shelter to save animals, take the next step. That's my challenge. Like, you know, you don't even look at it as a, an ignorant versus non-ignorant because that's not, I, I don't use that term as a, as a, castigation i use that term because it's 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 valid i you know if you're if you believe that an animal life is precious take the next step and actually see that thought all the way through um you know and, and even if it is a a, a two-month experiment for you well then it was a two-month experiment two months out of your life um you know you would have saved a, a few animals by not you know, in, you know, effectively supporting uh, the uh, the you know these these death industries. That's what they are. I mean, like, I can't I can't slap a fancy word on top of it or a marketing term on top of it. Um, you don't need them. Try it for two months. I've made it this far. I've, I've made it and I've been very well for it. Uh, at least as far as I, I can, sh as I'm concerned with by every measurement, um, I've been. I've been reborn, if you will. <laughs> it sounds like it's been a religious experience. It hasn't, um, but uh, you know, again, I, I'd encourage everybody to uh, to you know look into it. Um, I'm better for it for all the reasons I, I've just described, and um, I, I've yet to find anything to convince me that going back would be the the better decision. It's been just the opposite. So, uh, thank you for. Uh, watching uh there was one individual who responded to this week's uh, advice video who asked hey are you gonna do a vegan vlog update or is that in a new channel i'm not gonna launch a vegan channel
I've got a list of like 25 different vegan type of videos I could do, but I don't know if I really want to do them, like, because I'm not going to launch a different channel. I'm not going to populate this channel necessarily with vegan stuff, nothing but vegan stuff outright. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe someone will be interested in, in that stuff at some point in the future. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you. And may the force be with you.